Hi, it's um Polygon One again, and today oh that's wrong. I'm gonna show you how to um actually do mass map customizations on um Plaza Bus Two. So so when you um start, just log in, and if you haven't got an account, just create an account and press custom maps. Then this comes up, and you scroll down to the bottom. And you type in an ID for your level. So I'll just call mine tutorial. Oh, oh yeah, but um, you can't do like capitals or spaces in the name. I think it's a bit silly, but I don't make the rules. And that's about tutorial one. Okay, then you just press edit. And um, press get map ID and copy that press ok and then press edit map so it brings this up which is your editing tool then just shrink it down and press play you'll see why you do this in a minute and then when it comes um well while it's loading i'll just show you that so when this is up um it's best to press um user manual but um you probably won't even you probably won't need to um, but I'll bring it up just in case I forget some thing. That's stupid. Anyway, yeah. So literally, um, up here is all your tools. That's to click. You click on that. That's like drag, move, drag and move things. And that's to place things. That's enemies, guns. Well, it's pretty much obvious through most of them. And if not, use your manual. Actually, just tells you what everything is. Okay. So just I'll put on enemy and a player. Okay, the player, you just name him, doesn't really make any difference. And character changes like what type of character it is. And I know that 8 is a serial security guy. So I, I'm going to make him a serial security guy. And you press, after you do anything, always press enter. So and then it acknowledges it. And you can set health and max health to whatever you like. I'm going to give my guy a thousand health. And I'm going to give him a weapon. And for weapons, you just press property. So you right click and then press properties configure. And then click on the gun. And for model, on the user manual, it'll tell you all the different models. And I want my guy to have one of the um, civil security machine guns. So I type in real rifle. Oh, no. Real rifle. And there we go. So you just press that and then that's done. Okay, I'm just going to put out a bit more flooring and a wall and actually two walls. All right, and this is how you do doors, okay? You click on this one here and then you build your door. And then you need to get one of these. It's called a region. And you place, um, you need to make a region the same size as your door and place it where you want your door to go. And then place another region um, on the side of the door that the person will like open the door. And then so um, and you have to change the name of a region. So um, like no region, nothing can have the same name like regions. So I'm going to change this one to open. But it always has to have this um, this symbol at the front. The hash. It always has to have that at the front. And when you've got that, you can change the activation type if you like. But I'm keeping mine at one. And you need to have a, one of these. It's a trigger. And what you do is, then you press here and call trigger by ID. Change that one. Change the um, activation region and make it trigger. So, and then you need to make it the trigger and zero moves door. So this is the trigger and you enable it and act um, activation type zero that means um, it moves doors and the door will be called door so you write in that one door and the other one will be called region so you write in region region I spelled that wrong no, no I was right oh, sorry region what oh that's how you spell it sorry I'm being really stupid with the spellings Okay, and then 
Um, actually, I'm going to change this to um, 1. Because that's a special activation type. And then you can place some... Um, I'm going to put some water behind...